how do I feel mm. empathy for something that I might be in in paper separated, but at the same time I understand that we're interdependent. You know? Well, I mean, it's not prescriptive, is it? I no. mean, there isn't a formula, and I've thought about this a lot because when I when I sit down and I really think about the the issues, the problems of the world, they are infinite, mm -hmm. and so our human condition is that we're living in a planet that has infinite problems and always probably will. <laughs> And that in itself, just the awareness that that is our state, you know, that it's always on a kind of a tightrope, that it's one moment we could be so happy and everything's just fine, and then the next minute, poof, something totally changes it. So we're in this ex existential, ex our existence is actually, woo, it's, it's in a strange place. Now, once you've understood that for yourself, that's quite a personal revelation. Being a mother was a hugely transformative experience for me and because I had an opportunity to really witness directly and have a very emotional connection with my children as daughters and how they went through every single phase, a developmental phase. And so it gives you an opportunity to say, wow, this is what we all go through. A lot of my empathy has come from the fact that I'm a mother. I mean, it was always there. I've always been a very feeling person. I think most artists are. We're, we're sensitive, we respond to things, we're very perceptive, we can't let anything go. We see everything and it hurts. This is why we're so, we are so angst-ridden, we're so full of pain. It usually comes from a personal experience when, you know, I mean, some people maybe, they live in a world where everything was just fine and they never really suffered very much. And then maybe there was a point where something came and they had that awakening they said oh god you know and then i think that's the opportunity to start to say oh it isn't just me mm -hmm. it's all of us